Welcome, viewers, to SSL 9 Black Division semifinals. Go strong, number six overall C will take on Advance Pro number two right here coming up as we take a look at the Go Strong lineups. Uh, Black Division MVP uh, just crowned last week, uh, Hilmi leading the way for Go Strong. Although I don't see him on the bench, guys. All right, well, we'll get info on that later. Meanwhile, on the other side, Advanced Pro, number two overall C, four and one on the season. Had a tough game against Atlas Ballers, but showed their poise and led by their captain, Christopher. Um, and uh, Andy is here. Our Isaac Secret sideline reporter uh, info maybe was off there, but their main scorer, leading Wait, scorer. There are two and Oh, okay. Yeah, I think number Andy's 81. <laughs> okay, okay. Two of the Andes are here. Okay, well, in any case, their leading scorer, Tech Way, is not here. They'll be leaning on the skills of number 19, John Ung, for this game as we get ready for tip off. Go strong against. Advanced Pro semifinals SSL 9 Black Division. We'll have tip off for you in just a second. Thank you for watching us and joining us on Facebook Live and also on Huddle. Uh, we just wrapped up the other semifinal, Black division uh number one knights upset by pmj number four the number four overall seed a great showing by pmj a lot of athleticism good shooting good defense and overall great game for pmj congratulations pmj they'll be moving on to the finals to face the winner of this game as we get set for tip off here if you're joining us on facebook do give us a shout out Give us a share. Tell us who you think will win this game. And the tip is off. Controlled by Advance Pro. Quick basket there. This is, my name is Rez Han, co-founder of SSL, alongside Isaac Go. Today commentating for you. Through the ball. Good pass there. Shami unable to convert. Nice to meet with the ball. And another easy basket for Advanced Pro. Andy Chin here with an easy on the basket. Shout out to Ejus. Uh, looks like we have an Advanced Pro supporter here. Dario with the kick out. Rice, hesitate, didn't get the shot to fall. Junyong with the rebound, back to Lai Xiong Yi. Lai Xiong Yi scouting, feeding John Ng at the bottom. John Ng passing it out to Jerry, back to John Ng. John Ng with the three, unable to finish. Good rebound by Andy, but lost it. Picked up by Suresh. Yassir handling the ball and bringing down court. Yeah, and Isaac speaking of Ijaz, shout out to Ijaz. He is a brain talent, coder, programmer, developer, coding extraordinaire behind Huddle. The app that you guys should all be downloading right now, available at the Play Store. We are streaming live on Facebook and through Huddle as well. Catch all our games on Facebook and Huddle as well as upcoming games from other tournaments. Shami misses twice from point blank. Advanced Pro take charge again. Shami with the rebound, Shariel chases it down. Shariel didn't get much playing time in their quarterfinal game against Stallions, but he did a great job captaining and coaching the game. And 
this game seems like he'll be getting more playing time. And perhaps because of the absence of the MVP Hilmi. Not sure where he is, but that's a big loss for Ghost Kong this morning. Yasser. Yasser had also a very good game against Stallions, hitting some big baskets down the stretch along with Chami and Suresh as well who made big plays down the stretch. Also on the court for Go Strong, Rais, also a great game in the, in right. the quarterfinals. He's shown much improvement this season. Your former U4 teammate. Right, right. definitely uh, improved from season to season. We coined him last game, the Doc Stockton of Malaysia. Number 28. The ball. Dario, getting ready to go. Putting points on Gostron's scoreboard. 42, 43, sorry. And I'm trying to pull up our uh, Instagram poll yesterday, Isaac of uh, who the people's votes as to who would win this game. And I think this is the closest matchup yeah. uh, as far as votes went. So this is really a toss-up. Both quite evenly matched teams here. What do you think Advanced Pro has to do today to succeed? Uh, I think they, they're even more uh, heated up team compared to the Knights, like, um, they will get even more frustrated with the last call. So, if they keep calm, I think they can do this. They, they, they have great players, talented, just like that. They also know how to find easy baskets, feeding the ball, things like that. Yeah, so if they manage to find the self to the composure, they're doing what they do best, you know? Um, it's a rotation of John Hearn, Andy, getting his buses. They can do it. That's right, that's good insight there. Uh, both teams very experienced, but you're right, Advanced Pro has found success when they remain poised. Uh, it's John Hearn down in the low block. This is where he makes a living. And <laughs> turnover, just as I say that. Congratulations. Also, last game, PMJ, uh, number seven, Vincent, who had a tremendous scoring output. I finished with 37, 36, 32, 30 something. 34. 34. Jami operating up top. Oh, oh strip to you by John Stockton. <laughs> Can he convert? No, he can't. That was a John Stockton looking layup, too. That was a bring back the sky hose. <laughs> I literally feel like it's the 90s again. <laughs> you should be in there now. LSY by Xiong Yip. John with the back layup. Nice. Good take there by John. Oh. Good no call. And a drop off pass. <laughs> Finished. I go strong. Uh, this is still the victory. <laughs> Why so? And oh, another turnover by Vance Pro. I like the, they gotta settle in here. I like the idea by John Lung to facilitate early on. Right. I think he needs to get the rest of the team involved. Down the stretch, they can probably do a little bit more scoring. I think this one definitely did the homework. You know, uh, they know John Hung likes to play on the down post. They're going to be ready for that. So that's why John Hung, um, he had a few possessions uh, in the bottom post. The down post, but he doesn't feel comfortable because they know uh, why Ghost is going to give it to him. So you try right. to facilitate uh, being on top. Yep, good scouting there by Go Strong, coached by Adrian Wong. 
where we assistant coach for the Protein KL Dragons here. And he is up in vocal on the sidelines. And Ryan just hit a friendly two points there. Good deep, Asuresh pushing the ball, dancing. Suresh with the pass, back to Ryan. Uh, and that time, Isaac, uh, you mentioned the low post work by John Hung and facilitating out there. This time it was number 81, Andy, trying to do the same, going the other way. Right. They still haven't found that chemistry, but I like the idea of the big man play down low. Yeah, because those, they, they are so used to working at the bottom post, so they're probably not used to working on top. Right. So I guess that's the defense that... Uh, Go strong has, you know, and they, 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 they managed to make it work. You know, it's just a one point deficit. Right. Yeah. And Go Strong very small right now. As, as you can see. see right there. John and yeah, I'm not sure if that was a miscommunication on matchups or they're in some kind of matchup zone, but John Ung saw Chiacharel on him and took the shot. Rice operating on top screen, goes away from the screen, all the way, kicks it out. Aaron stripped again and fouled. By, I think it's gonna go against number three. Yup, here. Junior. And it'll be in the act of shooting as well. Thank you. Yeah, delivery of food one. here. And then one one. Right, we will have the. Sorry, we are uh, 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 commentators here enjoying the buns that were getting delivered here. Coconut buns, kaya buns. If you guys are in the stadium and would like to feed us, we will not say no. Last time we were check out and uh, checks in is Andy Lau, a very very good defender and a shooter as well. Yeah, right. There are a lot of Andys on this game. Right. There are three Andys. About that. What do you think they call each other in practice? Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Michael with the ball, who had a very, very good game against uh, Atlas Balls. And just as you say that, <laughs> turn over. Seems to hurt me. Yeah, it's a commentator's trick. <laughs> Let's try this again. again. And again. <laughs> Those runs uh, been good in the passing lane so far. Early. Right. They are definitely ready for this uh, advanced pros uh, attack. Make a roll there. Junior, very good uh, three point shooter. Yeah, good looking runner there as well. saw in the nice game and as you alluded to with advanced pro both teams have to keep their heads right don't worry about the rest. don't worry about each other play the game play your best game and play as a team good defense there by sure and good defense by advanced pro but it will stay go strong ball as we have this inbounds Again, shout out to everyone watching. Shout out to Jason Simba who says hello. Hello, Jason Simba. Outsider. Oh, yeah? Uh, Outsider's team. Jason Simba.
17 seconds on the shot clock. Nice look by Sweardhouse. Good screen. Inbound play. Simple inbound play. Bad defense by Evansco. Nice. And bad defense by Ghost Brown, but Evansco passes it up. Michael uses the NBC screen. Good pump fake. And we'll go to the line. Good patience there by NBC. Should I make it? Though? <laughs> so demanding, are you? You would have made it. I would have made it with my eyes closed. Oh. Go <laughs> <laughs> strong already in the penalty. said before for SSL, this is a you know, amateur tournament. Some of the best players in Malaysia, of course, amateur-wise, but that said, that always leaves the door open as far as the rosters and who will show up game to game. Um, and again, missing the big missing key here for Go Strong is still me. Right. Um, but also, as we mentioned before, on the advanced pro side, they are missing Tech Wave, leading scorer for them and an excellent basketball player so maybe that will even itself out close game so far one minute 28 seconds left Shireel at the line this is the first what a what a inception there <laughs> Dario misses both free throws. And the ball goes back to Advanced Pro. Meeting Andy in the bottom. So I stick his hands out and got caught for the foul. Subbing out for goes strong here. Advanced Pro will inbounds baseline. Quick three for is that Michael? Andy. For Andy. Under the other Andy. The other Andy. And this is the Andy. Another Andy. Another Andy to Andy. Andy. Working down low. Oh, almost got it to go. Just start calling everyone at Advanced Pro Andy. Andy to Andy. Outlet to Andy. Andy with the tree. Can he convert? Easy too. What a drive by Jun Young. Extending the lead to 17 to 10. Go strong there with her backdoor cut. Gets the N1 to go. Mohammad Firdaus. Oh, 
Yes, sir. I afraid I was unable to complete the. But a good start for him, though. Yeah. Six points to start the game. Yep. Good take. No good. Two seconds left to go. yasser has got time. Oh, can't get it off in time. And that's the end of the first quarter. Right. Advanced Pro up 17 to 12. We will be back. Are back at the start of the second quarter. Number two black division seed Advance Pro with a five point lead over number six Go Strong. Go Strong got here on an upset win in the quarterfinals over the Stallions, be beating the number three Stallions. Great game, probably one of the best games we had all season. I think that game and the first game of the, or the first gold division game, Red Baron versus Rhinos, was. Two of the most entertaining games yeah, this season. Definitely. But it didn't stop there. Uh, it gets intense every every week. But I think every team has gotten better. Tyrell there had the open shot me, but went all the way. Short. Short. Advanced Pro. What'll be interesting here too is to see uh, how the coach for Advanced Pro manages Don Ung's energy as well. Played most of the first quarter, uh, starting here in the second quarter as well. John Un doing a good D here. Uh, uh, Suresh doing a good D here on John Un. Great D. He comes up right. with the ball. It's a big body to kind of hold right. in the post too, so right. good defense by Suresh. Shout out to K. Amri Khalid, who says, Go Strong are the comeback kings. Right, like we have seen it in the previous game. They were down at least 15 mm -hmm. points. They came back miraculously by the one and only MVP, Jimmy, putting up on the show. He had, uh, he had about 31 points. In that game? Yeah. Sharia turning it over. Advanced Pro pushing it back. Yeah, at the same time too, shout out to Sandy Ong who's watching us on Facebook Live. And the rest of you guys watching, give us a shout out. And thank you for everyone that made it down also to Maba Stadium. Number of supporters behind their benches as well here. Tomorrow, 
here at Maba as well. In the evening, we'll have the semifinals of the Gold Division. Ligers will take on Red Baron, the number one seed, as well as a matchup between Rhinos and Kale Dragons Academy 1, which should be a tight game. Good defense by John Ohm. Right, he's losing the ball there. Tied up, jump ball, jump ball, ball, ball to Advanced Pro. Long inbound pass to Andy C. And it's a turnover and Coach is not happy with that. Unnecessary. We saw a lot of that in the Knights game. Maybe not long passes right, like that, right. but simple easier play, inbound easier plays. plays. Yeah. It's they not got even time, an inbound right? play. It's just an inbound pass. Yeah. I mean, they have time. You know, yeah. To... I think he thought he saw Andy open. Yeah, right. Maybe. 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 Shario cutting out the play here. It's the elevator screen. You know, they ran this early in the season and it worked really well. Ever since, I have not seen it executed at all. Right. So, but Evans bro not really falling for it. So right with the attempt. A little bit out of his range. Suresh had some nice plays down the stretch for Go Strong. Big shots and also big rebounds. As he tries to handle John Ung again down low. Good oh, shot. Joey. Oh, that's tripped away. No, no good. And he gets back his own rebound. Johnny Nick. Advanced pro with another offensive rebound. Oh, good dude. Good dude. Oh, 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 almost man. got it to go. Good cross awareness. It was in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Rice with the ball. Shami. Can he make it work? Out back to Rice. Starting for a screen here. Yasir with a shot. Good tag there on Yasir. Nice baseline shot for Yasir. That's his first field goal of the game. They're going to need more from him than my first song does. Good hands by Sami. Post defense for Ghost Song has been very good. Right. They've been doing the homework. Mm -hmm. Advanced Pearl really heavily relies on their big man at the low post and it's not really working out for them. Yeah. And it's not like they're they're doing anything fancy on right. defense. They're just playing they're buckling down and moving their feet as Rais gets fouled on the defensive rebound at a goal against number 34. Jerry. Jerry. Rais checks out for Aaron. For the box there, Is the box that elevated screen. The elevator screen, yeah. Right. And they read it well. Tommy, we have to take. Oh, yeah. and one. Yeah. yeah, they call it the elevator screens because it looks like elevators, right? Two of the big guys will set the screen to close off the defender. Um, see. Golden State run that for Clay Thompson a lot. But Advanced Pro reading the play and going around those screens. Right. Uh, Jun Young just a little bit impatient there on the defense. If he stays ground, they would have been another good beat. And the game now is tied thanks to Xiaomi's three point play. Does this count as a comeback? It's considered a comeback? Uh, I guess so. I guess so. Yes, sir. Bring the ball up. Got numbers. Ooh. Got numbers. Yeah. Ah. I think he could have gone up and shot that one. It's either you go yeah. all the way or you pass it early. Yeah. You don't pass it last yeah. night. He changed his mind right. twice. Because the moment you step in the paint, everybody thought you were going to go all the way. Right. And they, they won't expect the last minute pass. Right. So that's what happened. Shami uh, took, the, took the extension off the ball. Xiaomi with the out pass. Right, 
really, the more that we watch Seon Yu, the more I get this <laughs> calling him John Stockton. The way he moves, the way he plays. Right, right, right. He does nothing fancy at all. <laughs> yeah. you know? I mean, it's just like really basic yeah. fundamentals. But he does the little things off the ball like John right. Stockton does too. Those screens. Well, though, the off the ball, like those screens, the little jabs here and there. It's uh, very John Stockton esque. And Aaron looks like he got poked in the face, maybe? Yeah, right. right. So a little poke there. Strong taking the lead, 19 to 17. Looks like they've they've finally um, how to say it? managed to defend uh, advanced pros counter. Yeah, and now it'll be interesting to see what advanced pro comes right. up with. How will they change their game plan? Here? I'm telling you, Isaac, even that layup looked exactly like John Stockton. Although, I don't think John Stockton had ever took a left handed layup. And bodies are falling at the court here. Some kind of wrestling match is happening. And it'll go against Go Strong. Yasser and number 91 CP going at it. A lot of off ball tension right now. And it's an offensive foul against Go Strong. A good, good call there by the ref. Oh. Yeah, he had to blow the whistle some way right, at some point. Nice play, nice fake. John stop the knee. <laughs> yeah, couldn't get it to go though. Beautiful play. Michael. Good fake. And he goes the other way, lowers the shoulder. And Chi Ping gets a call against him. Right. The call goes back the other way. It's funny, once an offensive foul is called, usually the refs are looking back the other way to see if their if team is committing it the other way. Right, right after. A makeup call, if you will. Here with the ball, calling for cream. Yes, here all the way. Yes, here unable to convert. <coughs> Good pressure by Go Strong. All right, Andy unable Body. to get. <coughs> Body just flying everywhere. <laughs> right, it's the semis, you know. That's right. The semis. That's right. Yes, they're going nice for the merry-go-round. Good defense. Right. Xiong Yi almost got the steal. And that is a precious shot. Getting it going. John stuck there. Striking a pose. Can't get it to go. Nice rebound, Tommy. All of it. They've got numbers. It's coming. Nope. And a little extracurricular after the play, and a technical foul on Andy. The elbows. That's right. Pretty obvious. And the refs immediately rushing over, calling a technical foul against Andy C, number 81. Yasser will take the technical free throws here. As you mentioned, Vance Pro may be getting a little bit in their own heads. Right. They need to keep a clear mind here and play their game. I think Go Strong's defense has gotten to them a little bit. 
stick to the game plan, they should be okay. But same goes for Go Strong as well, who's been getting frustrated. Physical game here. Go Strong has definitely improved their defense. Like I said, I think they, they really did their homework and they, they analyzed the advanced pros place. They, they, nice. did, they did really good. And you see a nice move there by Sears, right. breaking down his defender. You don't see that too often, but he right. gets to the hole and one. And I've got to mention this. Suresh, our Shaq Tina Fool MVP <laughs> after last game. You mean the one and only? The one and only. <laughs> We'll, we'll try to figure out a way to get you guys that video. But not often that you see a defensive rebound converted to your own rim. Defensive rebound off a free throw, and then you shoot it into your own basket. Trying to help the opponent in the world. At least your MVP, sir. <laughs> to the basket, cutting out to Shami. Shami, good basket. That extends the lead for Go Strong, 25 to 19 with Shami's basket there. Advanced Pro taking a timeout. And as we have the timeout, I'll share with you guys a little something. A uh, little Saturday morning trivia for you, a little NBA trivia for you guys watching on Facebook and on huddle comment let us know if you know the answer to this question the nba trivia nba fans out there this should be pretty easy for you what is the record for the most wins ever by a team in a single season comment let us know if you know the record as well extra bonus points but i think that won't be easy for people the other question that we have for you is last season we're deep into a, a month or so into the current NBA season, but last season, now that the game is all about three-pointers, Isaac, and you love three-pointers as well, last yeah. season, who led the NBA in three points made per game in the season? And for extra bonus points, how many did he average per game? We'll let you guys know later. So leave your guesses in the comment section. Big tree. Huge tree. Right. right. 
Gives them a little bit of life. Makes it a two to five point game. Bravo. Miscommunication there by Ghost Run. Facebook Live viewers, thank you for following us. Come down to the stadium. Uh, last game of the Black Division semifinals is today. Tomorrow we'll have the Gold Division semis here also at Maba Stadium. First game at 8 p.m. We'll see the Red Baron take on Ligers. It feels like we haven't seen Red Baron in a while because they've had a walkover and, or sorry, uh, yeah, a walkover as well as uh, a bye last week. Uh, and then on the other side, it's Westport Dragons Academy 1 taking on the KL Rhinos. That should be a great matchup. Uh, right. Evenly matched teams. Um, and again, Rhinos, my prediction anyway, knowing their hunger for, right. for victory here. Um, although Isaac thinks it'll be the Dragons. All right. Look forward to that tomorrow. Of course, you can watch on Facebook and on Huddle as well uh, tomorrow or come down to the stadium as well. And to give you guys a look of what we're watching right now, Go Strong on the right side of your screen taking on Advanced Pro. They were the lower seed against Stallions and made it through and now they're looking for another upset against Advanced Pro who are the number two overall seed with a record of four and one. Meanwhile, earlier today the Knights lost in an upset to PMJ in their second matchup of the season. The Knights actually won their regular season matchup against them, but PMJ were without their two top scorers. Today, PMJ won convincingly, taking over in the third quarter, and they won by 21 points. And as we have a break here again, I want to give a shout out to our sister brand, Sports Bandits. So for everyone that's watching, everyone that loves sports, everyone that loves weekend warrior activities and you know you want to get a light sweat, maybe you aren't like a hardcore basketball player like these guys on the court here, but 
you want some co-ed casual fun you want to run you want other, you want to meet other people that enjoy the game of basketball sports bandits is the way to go it is a uh, membership to pick up games facilitated pick up games uh, not only of basketball but volleyball and flag football as well this season Isaac, this season was your first time playing right. flag football, American flag football. Uh, it's kind of like American football that you see on TV. Right. No contact, so uh, so you know, obviously you're not going to get hurt or anything. What do you think of it? Is it uh, fun? Yeah, I think it's a really fun game. Um, it's something new uh, to Malaysia, especially because um, most of them haven't heard of what flag football is. Yeah, but if you manage to calm down and sign up to Sports Minutes, like football is really an interesting uh, concept of and a mixture of uh, rugby and capture the flag. Yeah, right? I, I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, and it's really easy to learn as well. Right. Uh, so come on down. We have facilitators teaching the game right beforehand as well for all the sports so check out sportsfans.com meanwhile our nba trivia question for you guys that are watching leave a comment what is the record for the most wins ever by a single team in a season and that should be easy for you guys if you watch any nba basketball and then our other question is who's the lead who led the nba in three pointers made per game last year not this year last year let us know as we start the second half here, who do you, who's leading the league this year in threes? You think is it Clay? Three pointers made. Clay. Yeah. Clay. Yeah. For uh, for SSL. Black Division. Who is the sharpshooter? Wong Chia Yao from Thunderbirds with three three points per game. Wow, that's right. impressive. And for Gold Division? Joshua Gunn. Joshua Gunn from KL Dragons Kale Academy. Dragon one. Right. With the same stats now. Oh yeah? Yeah, three two points a game. So yeah, if you guys want to see the other award winners, do check it out on Huddle. Or we also have it up on the Locker Room uh, blog as well. All the links on our Facebook page. As we get back to the action here, second half, SSL 9 Black Division Semifinals. Go strong with a slim lead over Advanced Pro. Raiz gets the call up top, pushing foul. Having trouble inbounding. Alright. Shiro starts the game, or starts the second half on the bench. Good defense, bro. Good defense. Good defense by Advance Pro there. Yeah, good defense. Made them mess up their offense right. a little bit. Ghost has got to figure out a way to get into it a little bit quicker. Jong again, he's hit a couple of threes from here already. Gets a screen from Andy C. And it's another one. John Ung. Um. Could not be, be his home court. He's definitely used to playing here. Uh, former Dragons player, John Ung. Um. Yasser got the double screen up top. Trying to answer back with the tree and it. Loses the defender, can't get a go rebound by Andy. Gets on the ground and it will be a jump ball as both players giving each other props for the hustle. Offensive rebound? No. Good hustle there by Sharil. He 
Luke out to right is. Short. Chase down. on Facebook from Reza Shahid. He asks when the finals are for SSL and that will actually be here next week, next Saturday, November 24th, same time in the morning for the finals both for Black Division and Gold Division. And with this being the semis, the winner for this game will go on to face PMJ in the finals. PMJ, if you just tuned in, Defeating the Knights in an upset in the first game, blowing them out by the third quarter by 21 points. Suresh playing RD again on John Ung, and the call will go against Go Strong. And it looks like it's a defensive three second call. Once again, Suresh has been playing great defense on John Ung. Um, is it a defensive? It is defensive three. Ties the game at 29 apiece and steal the possession. Goes back to Advanced Pro. And they make one more basket to take the lead here. Ai Sang Lee playing down low. Good D by Shariel. Missing the hook shot. Getting back by John Ng. Foul call there. Possession again. John Ung. Good pump fake. With the kick out, Jerry. Nice shot of Jerry. Good looking play there. A nice drive, left handed kick out. Class. And we're going to get a timeout for Go Strong. Good timeout for Go Strong. Great play by Advanced Pro. Great shot by Jerry. All right. Advanced Pro takes back the lead 31 to 29. And how do you think they managed to do that, Isaac? I think the Go Strong offense has gotten a little stagnant. Right. Uh, their defense has been okay, not as impressive as in the first uh, quarter. Um, but I think Advanced Pro also has been slowly chipping away, not overreacting to anything. And their defense has gotten much better as well. Advanced Pro uh, starting to keep their frustration in check here as they gain the lead it will definitely gain, uh, boost their morale instead you know, getting more shielding Just to share with you guys, yesterday we had an Instagram story poll. If you guys don't follow us already on Instagram, we are at the Stat Sports. Uh, Instagram poll was for the winner of this game, and the results are in. 62% said Go Strong would win. And only 37 for Advanced Pro. Meanwhile, in the earlier game, the votes were for night, 70% to 30%, and PMJ won that one. PMJ so low. And 
So let's see if the fans have it right. A nice move by John Ung. Couldn't finish. And a good hustle on the follow-up play by Andy. And the foul will go against Go Strong. on the call there. Shouldn't get to go. Yeah, frustrations are natural in a game of this level, but as we saw with the Knights, you can't let that get to you or the little things mount up and you lose sight of the game plan. The go strong ball. Lane violation. Right. Up. He must be right. a big fan. 
Rice calling the play. Suri hit the ball. Rice taking the tree. Unable to convert. Oh. He got almost got it there. And it was the ball to John Stockton. John calling for ball. Nice young Nick playing the oh, advantage. He's a dribble. What is happening? And it's a foul on. Sorry. Yeah, sorry though. Tripping. Tripping. Right. Ball. It is inadvertent when you're on the ground, but it usually will happen. Good job by uh, Young Yik to not lose his dribble either. 3.39 left in the quarter. They are in the bonus, so he will be shooting free throws. Making his first free throw. One on one for the free throw. But Advanced Pro got back. Rebound. Here go. Good block there by Riley. Right. 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 Nice block. in the hop. That's right. Man. And he's out hopping Shiro, who's got hops of his own. Right. What a play. He almost got the steal after as well. Right. That's nice. Shiro feeding Yasser. Double team here. Let's see what Yasser got. He gets and stepped out of bounds. All right. Yasser frustrated. There's no cutters when he got double team. Timeout call by Coach Adrian. Go strong. Frustrated with each other. They got to keep their cool. All right. Let's take a look now as we have this break. Our question was who was the leading three point maker for last season? And we had a couple guesses here. We had K. Amri Khalid, who says curry. Curry is a good guess. How many per game would you guess as well? Any guesses for points or three pointers made per game? If your guess is Stephen Curry last season, how many per game? Again, as a reference, our top three point makers this season for Gold Division and Black Division made three point, what, 3.5 per game? Three, what? Uh, three pointers, yeah. Three made. Three, three made per 3. game. I will give you guys the answer right now. Steph Curry was right with 4.23 pointers made per game. That's amazing. So good job, K. Amri Khalid. You got it right. Although you only got partial credit because you didn't give us how many three pointers per game. Three pointers per game. <coughs> Three minutes left to go, 3.08 left to go in the third period. Go Strong is in the penalty. One timeout left for Go Strong and three for Advanced Pro. Rebound and a finish by Andy. That Andy, Andy number three. Andy number three. Andy number three. <laughs> Literally number three and the third one. Raiz all the way, kicks it out to Sharil. Way off, a little bit out of his range, and Advanced Pro is pushing now. Pulls back, Andy number three. Spin move for Jerry, I believe. Oh, just oh, out of miscommunication there. That's a go strong, got a lucky break. Right. And Advanced Pro on a little bit of a run. It's a seven point lead for them. Pass 
Looks like Rice got inadvertently poked in the eye. Andy three apologizing, but not getting any reward for his kindness because he'll be charged with the foul. Michael checks in for Xiongyit. Oh, good D. And the number <laughs> 29. <laughs> to the basket and gets the foul. And you're right, uh, Isaac. Those strong's offense has been a little bit stagnant, relying on guys like Rice and Shiro to penetrate, but nothing from a set piece standpoint. Right. Pro as well in the penalty. Andy one or an Andy eighty one. Andy C with four fouls and he's on the bench. Ooh, big run for Isa, who didn't see much playing time last game, but making the most of it this game, and the crowd loves it as well. Right. Michael, no good. Brought me with the rebound. They got numbers. Right. Held back. Good. Good effort to get back on defense by Advanced Pro. Right. He's penetrating. Turek wants to take John Hung. All the way to the basket. Great finish by Turek. We have got a timeout from Advanced Pro. Great play by Suresh. Going to the basket. And he's done a good job of that, reading the flat-footedness of John Ung and attacking him and making him pay. Good play by Suresh. What a back-to-back -back point there by Strong. Definitely getting their morale back up. You know? uh, we were talking about their stagnant plays, but sadly, uh, some big spark within them and they managed to get back-to-back -back two points. They heard you, Isaac. They right. heard you. They play for you, Isaac. They play for me. They want to make sure Isaac's secrets are <laughs> only good things. <laughs> two-point game here as we have a break let's give them the our to everyone watching on Facebook our other question was oops sorry our other question was who had the record for most wins ever by a team in a single season now most NBA fans should know this but most NBA fans also know that it sat on 72 and 10 with the Chicago Bulls in the mid 90s for a long time do we have any guesses for that? We had, I think Amri also guessed, K. Amri also guessed GSW, but did not guess the, the win record. We'll give it to you now. It was 73 and nine, only three seasons ago. 73 and nine, I think. How the heck do you do that? Nine games. They play from October until May, and you only lose nine games. That's amazing. Two-point game for Advanced Pro. 110 left in the third quarter. Another Andy will shoot another three and will hit another three. Durek not putting up top and there's a holding foul against that same Andy. It's been a very defensive game. Only player in double figures for either team actually has been John Hung with 12. 
Next highest score after that is Suresh with eight, who misses his first free throw. And we have Yasser with seven, and Firdaus with six on the advanced pro side. This two players, three players with six points as well. Operating up top. There's spreading the court. Four down. They're looking for four down. Wanting to create space for Michael. But the play has been broken. Michael kicks it out. Shots up. And they get it to go. Not exactly what the coach drew up. But Andy hits another three. 42 35 for Advanced Pro. Shami. Suresh will pull back, goes to the basket, can't get it to go. And Advanced Pro holds it for one shot, 14 seconds left to go in the quarter. 10 seconds, four down is the coach's call. That's the screen from Andy, Michael, to the other Andy. Three seconds left, he's gonna force one up. And no good! And that is the end of the quarter. Seven point lead for Advanced Pro going into the fourth and final period. Just maybe one more pass from Junior for the three. And I don't think they're running the four down play correctly either. They're not getting set enough. Again, for everyone watching on Facebook Live and on Huddle, thank you for joining us. Leave a comment, tell us what you think of the season so far, and tell us about your predictions as well for the finals and also the semifinals tomorrow for the Gold Division. Uh, as we mentioned in our Instagram poll yesterday, most of the, or 62% said that it would be Go Strong taking the win today. They find themselves down seven going into the fourth frame. So let us know what you think. Let us know if you want Isaac to tell you more secrets. <laughs> uh, Team Techway is playing tournament in Philippines. Ah, I see. With which team? No idea. <laughs> well, so far, they've been doing okay without him. Yeah, definitely. I'd be interested to know um, where Hilmi is at. He definitely would make a difference today. Uh, I just found out a secret, but I cannot verify whether it's true Ooh, or not. Unverified secrets. All right. Wait, what is the secret? Are you going to tell us? Hilmi's on the bench, but I don't know which bench. Jason is it. We see the bench right now. There's he's not on the bench. That's not a secret. I I I would refute your source. You need to get new sources. I said it was unverified. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unverified. It's just untrue. <laughs> it's all in this And go strong. Start the quarter with a post up play. I think that's that's a good move. Right. Gaster down low. Let him see what the defense gives and he can score from that position. Yasser now with eight points on the game. And it is now a six point advanced pro lead. Make that five. Michael operating on rice, finds the lane. John pump fakes and goes. Drops it off to Michael. Seven on the shot clock. No good. And Suresh comes up with it. Suresh has been having a great game here for right. Go Strong. Rice wants to go. Got me. Turnover. And bad play there. I 
Dami has had a quiet game. Five points, three fouls, and a turnover there. We'll see if he can change it up. With nine minutes left in this game. Andy, all the way to the basket, gets it to go. No help where it goes strong. Andy now has got eight points on the game. Yasser operating on his own, kicks it to run his. Drive down the lane, no good. He's heated it up this second half. Go Strong wants to post up Yasser again. No cutters up top. Dummy. Now we'll have to go on his own, but gets oh. bailed out of the foul. The foul is on the floor before the stop. left here and wants to post up Suresh. Good interior defense. Ball denial by advanced pro Shami. Left hand layout gets it to go. Oh. At the buzzer. At the buzzer. Andy bulldozes in and gets Shario for the foul. Good start to the game for right. Haskell. Yasser. 
And the post kicks it out. Open shot. Good look. But can't get it to go. And Advanced Pro again will slow it down. This game has grinded to a slow right. defensive battle. As Advanced Pro looking to use up every second. Six minutes left. Way short. And it's a timeout. Coach Wong, Adrian Wong, wants to talk it over. Not happy with what he sees. Here at courtside, 2.2 .2 left on the shot clock. Unless you're going to be resetting that. But 5.57 left to go in the game. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining. You see also setting up uh, at Maba Stadium here, here are the MWL games happening right after this. So if you're in the area, come down, check it out. Malaysia Women's Basketball Pro League. Shot clock does reset. Eight point game, advanced pro way. 557 left. It's been a very tight game, a grinded out game, a defensive game. And we'll see how this one closes out as the table is checking out some technical difficulties. I think they're looking to check the timeout situation if the scoreboard is correct go strong has no timeouts remaining and i think that's what coach adrian wong is double checking no timeouts left for go strong meanwhile advanced pro have two left so it's going to be a tough road for go strong here they got to rely on their offense and their ability to execute on the court itself yasir posts down deep he's patient with it goes all the way down fade away and gets it to go Good play. Looks like Coach Adrian is just looking for mismatches now and going to his star players to, to come up with something. Six point game now. Yeah, and Advanced Pro, I know they want to milk the clock, but they got to stay aggressive. It's like you said, it's only six points. They got to keep putting points on the board. Jerry goes all the way and he does just that. And it's excited about it. Great take. And a turnover. For Go Strong in the backcourt, that is not going to do it for Go Strong. Great play by Advanced Pro, right. and a big mistake by Go Strong on the other way. Eight point game now, 5.13 left to go in the game. Offensive foul call, it looks like it's going to go on Andy C, and that will be his fifth. He just checked in the game, and he immediately fouls out on a screen, a moving screen. And coach is telling him uh, it's all right, giving him a knock on the head, and he'll be done for the day. Go strong, go back to Yasser in the post, mid post this time. He goes baseline. Easy two. Nice and easy. 
Great work by Yasser, good patience, and this is just enough time to chip away for Go Strong. Let's see if they can keep at it. Six point game. Andy to Michael. Good John with the rebound. And he'll go run. Offensive foul. And he clears out. Is that really an offensive foul? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess so. I don't know. And even the spectators are talking about it. Not quite sure. I guess I can see it. I guess in other circumstances it may not be, but almost because he hesitated and he cleared out room when he didn't need to, it looked more obvious. It's more like yeah, moving the ball. Right. I mean, a player is allowed his own cylinder of space, right? So the yeah. question is, did he overreach that and use his elbow to clear out additional space? Meanwhile, on the advanced pro side off camera, we see Seong Yik, John Stockton, taking over the coaching roles momentarily. I'm telling you, he is John Stockton. <laughs> Maybe related. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Over here we have Coach Adrian trying to tell Ghost Strong players to cut the lead. It's only six points right now. Back to Yasu down the post anyway. Right. Good. He's got to stay patient. He's got to stay hungry. Don't look to pass. Go to the basket. Good job by Yasu. Short this time. A little, went a little bit outside of where his range was or where he wanted to go. But I think he's got to do a couple more back down dribbles. Just under four minutes to play. That's pro. Go to the basket, no good. And it is go strong ball. Still a lot of time here. 346, six point game. Let's see what they can come up with. seconds on the shot clock. Andy blows by Yasser. Oh, Great rebound. Yasser, he's going to push it himself. Here he comes, that. pass it to Shami. Shami, all the way to the basket, and it's an offensive oh. foul. Good defense by John on his feet, just outside the charge, no right. charge zone. And the refs give it to Advanced Pro. Great defense. Well, Shami has four as well. It's great, everybody's gonna follow. <laughs> Crowd getting behind Go Strong here, urging them to play some defense. Meanwhile, Advance Pros just wanting to get the clock down as much as they can. Another stop by Go Strong. They got to capitalize here. Go Strong. And the foul. And they'll go to 
to the line. Or two. Their defense has been good. They haven't been able to capitalize. And again, it's Yasser with the ball here. Let's see if he can cut it down to the closest deficit they've seen in this fourth quarter. And he does, cuts it down to five. Two minutes, 43 seconds left. Are we going to see another Go Strong comeback? Like what the audience say, comeback king? Comeback king. Four point game, 2.43 left to go. Coach Adrian urging them to pick up the ball at half court. Farrell back in the game for Go Strong. And we haven't seen this in a while. John Ung in the low post against Suarez. Right. Again playing great defense. And they couldn't get the rebound. After a great defensive stop by Suresh, couldn't get the rebound. And now advanced four will go to the line. And again, it's been curious. We haven't seen John Ung in the post for a while. Right. Like you mentioned early in the game, that's really what their strengths are. And maybe because Ghost Strong had adjusted. <laughs> Second shot and short stuffing. Can't control it and ends up in Yasser's hand. They gotta get over the timeline. Advanced four doing a three point press here. Yeah, another yeah. yeah. turnover. Yeah. Strong has gotten their stops, but they keep turning it back over. Did they spontaneously do a full court press? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't called for. Oh! God, God oh. stopped it. Still retains the ball. Three seconds, two seconds on the shot clock. John's got to put it up. And a shot clock violation. Another lucky break for Go Strong. Can they make something of it this time around? And he's at Banjang subs in for Firdaus Shah. That, that layout would have been a highlight. Yeah. At the time of the game, it came. And pressure for Advance Pro on the ball handler. Way up high. They want to clear out and give Yasser some room. Or not. Dangerous pass out here. Yasser says he was fouled. Chase down. And Vance Pro get the ball again in the hands of John Ung. 124 left to go. Rostron could not capitalize once again. Five point game, 118 left. And they're going to go to John in the post once again. Suresh has had the task all game long. Good defense. Swings it out. There's Michael, John for three. Oh, that's it! Good goal! And that might be the dagger in Go Strong's back. A friendly roll on the three point at the buzzer for John Ung. Another turnover for Go Strong. Advanced Pro might be looking to pull it out here. 48 seconds left to go. Eight point lead for Advanced Pro. Their first season in SSL. Looks like they may be advancing like pros. To the pros. To the pros. That is definitely John Young's home car right there. Yeah, <laughs> Getting friendly, the friendly role. role. And it seems like Ghost Rong has been a little bit. Uh, they lost it a little bit. Like they're trying to rush the ball up, trying to even up the score, but resulting in multiple turnovers and costing them the game. Hey, I learned earlier today the round the ball is round. Right. 36 seconds left. Eight point game. Are we gonna see a Tracy McGrady sighting? Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Four maybe. seconds to go. Yeah, sir. Going all the way. Gets fouled. 18 seconds left. Ball is round after all. Ball is round. <laughs> but yeah, to your point earlier, they they had a stretch in the fourth where they were very patient, got the shots they wanted, right. operating through Yasser in the low and mid post, uh, and they went away from that. And that's cost them, but at the same time, you know, they got 
defensive stops and just too many turnovers. Yeah. They could not even settle into their offense. But again, now it's a seven point game, 18 seconds left. Oh my goodness, way off what? on what the... What did he just do? I guess he was trying to miss on purpose, but not necessary at all at this juncture in the game. And it was a bad miss. <laughs> Getting looks from Bungie Crumb over here. <laughs> not, he also not sure on that play. What the mentality was. And looks like they're not going to foul. Right. Looks like they're not going to foul here. And Go Strong and will right. wave the white flag. Advanced Pro are your winners for this semifinal, defeating number six Go Strong and ending their Cinderella run. Advanced Pro, number two seed. Overall, we'll be facing number four, PMJ, next week right here at Maba Stadium in the morning. Thank you, everyone watching us on Facebook Live and also on Huddle. Uh, we will be back tomorrow evening for the Gold Division semifinals. Until then, for Isaac and myself and everyone at SSL, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.